All right, so when we talk about acids and bases, we always talk about them dissociating or making hydrogen or hydroxide ions in water. Well, often we'll talk about the percent of the dissociation. So what percentage of the acid molecule actually or base molecule actually dissociates into ions? Percent dissociation is defined as the amount that dissociates. So basically we're talking about the concentration of either the H plus or the OH ion over the initial concentration of that acid or base times 100. Um, for a weak acid, the percent dissociation will increase as the acid becomes more dilute. That might kind of sound weird. So we're going to look at this by calculating the percent dissociation of one molar and then 0.001 molar acetic acid, which has a, a Ka of 1.8 times 10 to the negative fifth. And we should see that as the initial concentra uh, concentration decreases, the H plus concentration decreases, but the percent dissociation will increase. Okay, and this is all going to be due to Le Chatelier. So let's go look at that. All right, so because this um, acetic acid is a weak acid, we're going to have to do an ice chart to determine the concentration. Okay, so if we look at this, first we probably need to write the dissociation equation. Here is the formula for acetic acid. Okay, and that we know that when it dissociates, it's going to make uh, C2H3O2 minus and a hydrogen ion. Okay, now we know that we are starting um, with two different concentrations, so we're actually going to work these problems at one time. So hopefully this won't confuse you. Okay, so we start with um, 1.0 molar and point. 001 molar. Okay, and in either case we start with zero of these. Okay, so we're going to plus x on this side. So these should be getting some concentrations. And then in either case the original is going to be losing. So in the equilibrium for the one molar we have one minus x. And in the equilibrium for the um, 0.001 molar, we have 0.001 minus x, okay? And the others are x and x in both cases. Okay, now if you set up the equilibrium um, constant for this, you'd have the products over the reactants. So it's going to be x squared over point. 0, 0, 0,01 minus x and the 1 molar is x squared over 1 minus x. Okay, now both of these are equal to the equilibrium uh, Ka, the constant, which is, let's see, what did it give us? 1.8 times 10 to the negative fifth, okay, which is a very small Ka value. Now, because it's small, anything that is added or subtracted from a normal size number can be ignored. Okay, so in both cases, we're going to be able to cross out the minus x on the bottom. So over here, essentially, we have x squared equals 1.8 times 10 to the negative fifth. And over here, we have 1.8 times 10 to the negative fifth. And then we're going to have to cross multiply the 0 0.001 and then x squared it. Okay, so we'll solve this one first because it's easier. easier. We just have x squared equals 1.8 times 10 to the negative fifth. So we're going to take the square root of that to find our x value. Okay, and our square root gives us 4.24 times 10 to the negative third. Okay, all right, and let's go ahead and look at the percent dissociation for that. All right, now we know that the X is the um, concentration that dissociates, so this is either 
the H plus concentration or um, the conjugate base concentration, either one, okay? Uh, but we're going to talk about the H plus concentration. So our H plus concentration over our original concentration, which in this case was 1, times 100 will give us our percent dissociation for the 1 molar solution, okay? So we're going to go ahead and get this one solved. So our percent dissociation is going to be 0.42%, okay? So not very much of the uh, total solution actually dissociates here. Okay, all right. Now the other one we had not finished solving yet. So we were at this point. We have 1.8 times 10 to the negative fifth. We got to cross multiply that times the 0 0.001. And that's going to be equal to x squared. So x squared equals 0 0.001 times 1.8 times 10 to the negative fifth gives us 1.8 times 10 to the negative eighth. All right, and then we will need to square root that to find the value of our x. And remember, the value of our x is going to be the concentration of H plus ions at the end. Okay, so when we square root that, we get 1.3 times 10 to the negative fourth. All right, and... This is the H plus concentration, so now to find percent dissociation, we'll put it over the original acid concentration was 0 0.001, and then we'll times 100 it over here. Okay, so there's my little times 100, kind of threw it in over there, and I get 13.4 percent dissociation. So even though this is a less concentrated form, more of it dissociates because there's way more, uh, there's way less of it, okay? So more of the HAs can break into H pluses and A minuses in water. All right, now let's look at a problem that asks us to go backwards, okay? So this one is asking us to determine the Ka um, if we know that the percent dissociation is 8.1%. So we have 8.1% is equal to 100, okay, times the initial concentration of H plus, which that's what we're going to be looking for initially. I do not like when the pen drags its little self. All right, so first we'll divide by 100. So we get 0.081. All right, is equal to the H plus concentration over 0.1. All right, cross multiply that 0.1, and you get 0 0.008, and that's going to be our H plus concentration, okay? So 0.0081, and this is H plus. Now, if we were to write a... Um, dissociation equation for an acid, just any acid, we'd have the generic HA, so H being the proton and A standing for whatever else is attached to the acid, and then it makes the conjugate base A minus and a hydrogen ion, okay? Now, if the original concentration of this was 0.1 and these were 0, and then it dissociates. So we have a minus x, and then a plus x, and a plus x. Okay? And then at equilibrium, we'd have 0.1 minus x, and x and x. All right, now we just determined the actual equilibrium concentration was 0.0081. And since our equilibrium just changed by x, we know that's the value of x. So that will give us all of our equilibrium concentration. So 0.1 minus x over here will give us 0.0919. Okay, and then we're going to have to plug it into our Ka expression to get the value of Ka. So we have the first concentration, which was 0.0. 0.0081 times the second concentration, which was 0 0.0081 over the 
original acid, what was left, which is 0 0.0919. Solve that, and we get our Ka, which has a value of 7.14 times 10 to the negative fourth. Okay, so there's our Ka. So that's how you would go backwards.